This was my first attempt at a rocket stove that I wanted to show you. Uh, this was uh, pretty cheaply done. I don't know how long it'll last, but it works really good. The uh, temperatures on this cooking surface, when I'm burning wood, not right now, otherwise my hand wouldn't be on top of here. But uh, the cooking surface temperature gets up to around six to 700 degrees. Uh, if I put my digital thermometer down into the flame area, it gets to uh, 11 or 1200 degrees. Now, for this rocket stove, uh, I put handles on it on the side to make it easier to carry around because the insulation that I used uh, in between the, uh, the heat pipe and the outer pipe. Uh, I used sand for ins, uh, insulation, so <clears throat> it does get it does get warm. But my digital thermometer, the last time I used it, when I had a 600 degree uh, cooking surface temperature, the outside here only got up was less than 100 degrees. It was 90, 94 to 96 degrees, and that was after about 15 or 20 minutes of use. So if you use it longer than that, I'm sure it's going to get hotter because of the temperatures that are generated inside. But uh, this area right here, I hope you can see it, uh, is just a, a small area that you put sticks on. You don't need any sticks that are bigger in diameter than your finger. And I would make them between 8 and 10 inches long. And you just set them on this little shelf, and once you get your fire going, you just feed the sticks in a little at a time, as needed. As they burn down, you'll have to put more sticks in. The area underneath is for the air to be drawn in. When the air is drawn in down here, when it gets into the mixing chamber, it works uh, real well at the height that I have it from the bottom. Because when the air rushes in, it hits the back of the chamber and <clears throat> it has a turning motion. And as that, as that air turns, before it starts to go up and feed the uh, fire of the sticks that are on fire, um, <clears throat> it, it's a real good mixture and you get a real clean burn. You don't have, a lot, you don't have any smoke and uh, you don't have a lot of uh, wood debris, ash, or anything flying out because the ash drops to the bottom instead of being forced out the top. The next part of the video, I'm going to try to show you uh, it in live action. This part on top, <clears throat> I've got a gas grill outside with a side burner. That's where I got the cooking surface. So all you have to do is use a little engineering and you don't have to make up some kind of hokey cross steel things set on top. You have something here that's, that's already probably available to 80% of you watching this. So uh, it'll, hold, it'll hold like a, a, a big skillet or anything. It's, it's real sturdy. It, ain't, it isn't going to fall over. The sand that's on the inside makes it real heavy. So, I don't know if you can tell by me holding it, but uh, it's good and heavy, and it's sturdy. It's not going to just fall over if you're using it outside camping or fishing or in an emergency and you need something to cook on because the power is out or you don't have any gas uh, to run your regular grills or anything like that. So, uh, the next part, next part of the video, I want to try to show it in use. I just started up the fire in it and uh, I want to try to zoom in here so that you can sort of see how it works. Uh, even though I just started it up there was uh, almost no smoke and right now I don't see any smoke at all. I'm going to reposition the camera so you can see into the burn chamber on uh, what I'm talking about and how it works. I'm hoping you can see it. 
this is the burn chamber and, and you can see that the, uh, the flames are going pretty good in there right now. And it's only been about, uh, it's only been about three minutes. And like I said before, <coughs> the air gets drawn in here. And you can see by me having my hand there that this area isn't hot. It isn't very hot at all. I mean, I can feel a little bit of warmth, but the air is getting sucked in here and, and feeding the fire and going out through the top. I don't know how fast this digital thermometer is going to change, but I'm going to try to put it up near the camera and show you that, uh, uh, well, it, it's changing quite a bit, but I'm, I'm getting between uh, four and 500 degrees. Uh, and it's only, it's only been four or five minutes that this has been going. Now, uh, it's not going to show it. The change of temperature is too quick. But maybe I can get the camera a little closer and hold it on there. And then maybe you can see. Let me see if I can zoom in on it enough for you to see the, the temperature. See, it's heating up pretty good. I do have a little smoke because I'm using dowel rods that I had laying around because uh, I, I didn't really uh, have any have any sticks laying in the yard because I cleaned up the yard. Well, I've been running about 10 or 15 minutes now. <clears throat> and you can see when I put my hand on the outside, it's a little little hot to the touch I can't leave my hand on it too long but the handles the handles that I used on here are plenty cool you can hold on to them so you don't have to wait for the whole thing to cool down I'm going to try to use better insulation uh, on on the next one I make because I don't want to start selling any of these until I know it's right and it's gonna last a lifetime well, the window of opportunity that I had to do a little uh, video to show you how this rocket stove works, uh, I'm running out of time. As you can see, it's pretty cloudy. The clouds are moving in, and I better get this stuff uh, all put away before the rain hits. And uh, leave me some comments. I've been having a lot of people asking if I was going to make these for sale, and I probably will. I've had uh, pretty close to 100 requests so far, but uh, like I said, I'm still experimenting. I want to give you the best uh, value for your dollar, and uh, I'll make another video on the next one that I make, and hope I can make one that'll last you a lifetime. This one, I'm, I'm sure won't last a lifetime, uh, so that's why I'm going to go on to the next project. So until I see you again... Good prepping to you. Get ready for any storm or anything that can happen. See you again in the next video.